Hi guys, Just Rock here, and we are in Stardew Valley. Now, I did visit this game back when it first came out. Uh, didn't get the time, unfortunately, to dedicate to playing it. I was still working at the time, still had a lot of other stuff going on, and I had to make a few cutbacks on the channel. Unfortunately, this was one of the things that we cut back. Now, I am going to start a new game. We've had a... It was an expansion that came out not that long ago. Uh, let's just hit new. Up at a bar. So you can see here we've got different types of farms. You've got your standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. River, which is designed for fishing. Forest for foraging. Hilltop for mining. And the wilderness farm, which is the one we're going to go for. There's plenty of good land here, but beware. At night, the monsters come out. Okay. So, obviously, I am me. The farm name, we will go for Odd Haven. Favorite thing besides bale? Chicken. And trust me to think with my stomach, of course. Now, what are we going to go for the outfit? Um, sort of like the jacket dealio, but it doesn't really match in with the beards too well. You know what? Maybe I won't go with the beard. I'm going to go beardless. Don't tell Bale. We'll go dark pants. Okay. And we want the hair a bit up this end a little more. Yeah, that'll do us. Okay, let's give that a go. We are going to... Are we going to... No, we'll go through the intro. What the heck? And for my very special grandson. Yes. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay. Shme. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. Come on, old man, speak faster. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. You'll take my sword and run people through. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. X, X, years later. Joja, join us, thrive. I've totally worked in a cubicle farm like that. It was messed up. <laughs> little Miss Hop, little Mr. Hopped up on way too many drugs. <laughs> Good week. Dear Jester, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Oddhaven Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my boy. Good luck, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Okay, well, there we go. Now, um... I am going to pause the recording once we actually get to the farm, just so that I can fix a few of the settings, because we're going to have music blaring, and screen resolution isn't quite going to be what I want it to be, and just stuff. Kind of cruddy that we don't have an option to change that from the menu, but meh. Hello, little birdie.
Hello, you must be Jester Ark. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I do like the music in game, but... This is Oddhaven Farm. Music always tends to cause problems for YouTube for me. Yeah, look at this place! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. I've lived in worse. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? <laughs> That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Um. Oomph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey, so you should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> and there we go. So we are in our home. It is 6 a.m. Now, as I said, I'm going to go into the options here. Should be pause. Lovely. I'll be back in just a moment, guys. Okay, we are back again. What I've had to do, obviously, go into options. Uh, it's a bit of a muck around. Like, obviously, music has been turned down. I had to go to full screen mode so that I could change the resolution. But by doing that, it threw the screen out of wax. I had to go back to borderless window mode after changing the resolution and then downsize my zoom level. And uh... Anyway, we are now in the game, so let's get on with it. You've received 15 parsnip seeds. I have trouble saying that. I end up saying parsnips needs and, uh, yeah, anyway. Here's a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. Lovely. Now, if we go over here to our journal, pressing F, we'll also bring it up. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start use, start with the basics. Use your hoe till soil. Use a seed pack on the till soil so to sow the crop. And then water every day until ready. Okay. And introductions. Go meet 28 peoples. Now, another lovely little thing is this here television. These channels, you won't always have this, uh, you'll always have the weather report and the fortune teller, but you won't always have the third channel. Um, every now and then you'll have a different one, but yeah, anyway, weather report. This will be for the next day. Welcome. Number one source of weather, blah, 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 blah. Weather for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. That is actually not a bad thing. It means we don't have to worry about watering tomorrow, but yeah, we'll get to that later. Fortune teller. Oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shower of knowledge from the future. Uh, spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on my side. Okay, and living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Well, that's a good bit of tippage. This is kind of cool. Hey, hey, there's a dick. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, no, no, no. Put it back. Put it back. Oh... How do I put it back? There we go. Lovely. We light the fire. We've got a cactus. Some stuff on the walls. Okay. Now, what we're going to want to start off with, let's grab our axe. We need to clear some land. Now, using the correct tool for the job does make a good bit of difference. Okay. Gonna get all this stuff cleared out of the way. 
That's a good sized chunk of farmland. Okay. Now, obviously the axe to chop down the trees. Now, just watch on the bottom right hand corner, you have got your energy bar. You do have to pay attention to that as well. Now, we don't want these trees growing back, so we need to chop them down and remove the stumps. Now, just watching my little bars over to the side, I can't quite tell, but I think my noise levels are a bit too high, so just bear with me a second. Okay, that should be a bit better, I think. First episode, always have a few issues with the audio, regardless of what game I'm playing. It just seems to be how it works out. Now, another thing we want to do as well, I do want to get enough wood so that we can make ourselves a storage box. Where are we? Yep, which we've now got. Okay. Um... Press escape, we'll come up to crafting, and there we go, storage box, which costs us 50 wood, allows us to place, you know, stuff to store. Now, the starting tools we've got, as is the case in these sort of games in general, will allow us to take out these small bits, but they won't, like, if we grab the axe, your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. So that's that one, obviously. No, no, no. Now, I know a lot of people just... Oh, we got a bit of coal. All this little stuff, what they'll do is actually, like, with the fiber and stuff, they just throw it straight out. I am usually of that same thing, but this time around, I'm actually going to hold onto it all. Okay, now we want the hoe. I know we want the hoe, thank you. Hey, we can change storage boxy things. That's kind of cool. It's going to be purple. Of course, it's going to be purple. Yeah. Okay, now, let's get some crops planted. Our starting sort of layout isn't going to be how it's going to stay. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you do have to watch with some sort, some crops, like the beans. Um, they will grow on a trellis, but once they're in and growing, you can't walk through them. So, if I was to do this and put beans up through the middle, I wouldn't be able to get to the middle, you know, three beans to look after them. You don't want to do that. Now, the watering and whatnot does take a bit of time. Later in game, we get things like sprinklers, so it automates a lot of this process, which is wonderful. But for the right now, we've got to do it all manually. Okay. We're going to make our way over here so that we can fill up our watering can straight away. You can see it's now full entirely. Well, it was. <laughs> Put that away. And that. Um, I won't... No, no, I'll keep this... No, no, we'll keep... We'll bring all these with us. Okay. Feel yeah, we've got a fair bit of farmland. You'll notice up here at the time of day is progressing. We do have to watch out for that. If you're out too late, um, you'll pass out. I think it's if you're out after midnight, you'll wake up the next day with less energy. All these things you've got to consider. We can walk through that grass. Okay, and that's what I wanted to look at here. Jester Ark, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Now, I have not made it that far in-game, and I've purposely not watched other people. So, none of it gets ruined for me. I'm going to assume... It's going to be all ghosty. Now, keep an eye out for these, these little wormy things. When you see the little wormy things, grab your hoe. Shmah. We've got some clay. They generally indicate that there's something there. Things like frogs, we can pay attention to later. Okay. I'll tell you what, I think that's about all we're going to do on our farm for the time being. 
Let's put this stuff into storage and let's go meet some people. Bus stop and Pelican Town. Now, one thing to keep an eye out for as well, there doesn't seem to be any... Oh, yeah, no, here we go. Here we go. We just got ourselves a leak. You can eat it to regain health and energy. You can gift it to other people. You can sell it for a bit of money. All sorts of stuff. Hello, first new person. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Hello, Harvey. And you, who are you? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hello, Jody. Now, one thing I do want to point out as well uh, in social. So, you can see here, Harvey is a single person. You can give them gifts. You can only give them X number of gifts every, I think it's week or something. Um, anybody that is single, you can basically romance. And, you know, with the intention of trying to marry down the road. Well, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Now, I do like the fact that it doesn't limit you to, you know, if you're a male character, you must take a wife. And if you're a female character, must take a husband. Okay, there is the... Watch me who's it? Calendar. Uh, any events that are coming up will be marked on the calendar, as well as, you know, all the birthdays and whatnot. So each month is... Well, I should say each season is 28 days long... Four seasons to a year, obviously. Now, Pierre's is the general store. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Yes. We'll go around the back. You've actually got to go around and stand beside to actually meet him. Hey, it's Mr. Chesterark, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Now, we come around this side and actually talk to him. So, we could sell that leak for 60, which I think we might do straight away. So, looking here, we've got a few things we can buy from him. Everything from trees to new flooring for the house, wallpaper, etc. I'm going to get some beans. Now, the reason I'm going to go for these, they take about 10 days to mature, but you can keep harvesting them. Um, you don't have to replant them every 10 days. Uh, yeah, we'll go six. No. Nine. We'll go the full nine. Um, do I want another parsnip? No, not just yet. Okay. And there, well, he's in his wife and daughter's house is also the sort of general meeting hall for, what do they do? Uh, exercises and stuff. And it's like we've got a bit of a churchy thing happening over here. I haven't been in any events that involve that side of it yet. Just to note as well, you can't enter bedrooms or, in some cases, homes unless you've reached a certain level of friendship with people. Hello. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, hi. Now, you can... I've got to set to auto run. You can shift to walk, but meh, meh. Okay, we are running low on energy. Let's come in here and meet Gunther. I don't know if I can get to him from here, though. I think I actually need to meet him over this side. Well, let's find out. Introduction. So we've met eight people. Oop. Oh, hello. Welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, it's a bit embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm happy to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Um, when, once you do do that, you can basically place them wherever you want over in this here area. Now, did that count? No, it did not. So yeah, we have to meet Gunther outside of work. It's locked. Oh, are you kidding? You just closed. You can rummage through bins as well. Um... Which is kind of gross, but you do find some stuff. I don't think there was much more on this side. Yeah, okay. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. So you see the Jojo Mart here? Oh, let's talk to you too. That'll keep it paused as well. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Basically, it's a case of Jojo Mart's trying to take over the town and 
push the little businesses out. Later in the game, you'll get the option to assist one way or the other, I guess. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. That's Abigail. Seriously considering figuring out how to romance her. Hmm. I don't know. What time is it? Almost 5pm. You don't have a great deal of energy. And I do want to try and get some more stuff planted up. Though I may wait until tomorrow for that, to be honest. Hello, birdie. Okay, Robin, who we've met. Have you met everyone in town yet? That's so exciting. Nope. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Demetrius is Robin's partner. Uh, incidentally, as well, we can chop, chop, trown, chop, there, chop down trees out in the wild. Okay, if we had a rod, we could cast it out there and try and catch ourselves a bit of something. I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow in game we get the go meet the fisherman thing. A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Aw, oh, poor Linus. Not going to go into too much detail about the characters at this point in time. Like, we'll interact with a lot more of them. I'll interact with them a lot more later in the game. And we are back at the farm. Now, there is a great deal more to explore. So, we've only been sort of up around here a little bit. We haven't even gone up to here. Ooh, question marks. I don't even think I can get up there just yet. Few lonely rook. Sewer pipes. Wizard's tower. Yeah, there's quite a lot of things like you can't... Or quite a lot of people you can't meet on your first day because they are part of scheduled events and, you know, all that sort of jazz. Yeah, I'm not going to keep wandering that way. You know, one thing I can do as well, one thing the sap's kind of cool for, let's go into our crafting menu. You can make torches, two sap and one wood. Provides a modest amount of light. Let's make a couple of them. Just for now, we'll put one there. And one there. Ooh. That's right, it's night time, the bad things come out to play. I like the idea of this. Wow. I'm going to need me some better weapons. What do we get? A bat wing. Just bouncing him back and forwards at the moment. You can see we are taking a bit of damage as we go as well. Ooh, critical hit on him. Couple of bat wings. Um, can't remember what they're even good for. Probably nothing so much for us at the moment. Right, well, we might actually sell them, I think. There we go. At least get something in there to sell. Head back into town. There is one more spot I sort of want to go and visit before we finish things off for the day. Run, 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 run. Our quests will also pop up on that notice board as well. 
Okay, there we go. We are in Pierre's bar. Is it Pierre? Not Pierre. Gus, I meant. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Oh, I can read all over your face. You're going to love it here. And if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay, thank you, Emily. Pam, we've met. She lives in a trailer. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. <laughs> He's the blacksmith. Who we will see a bit more of, I think, tomorrow. Shane, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because I'm trying to be polite, you douchebag. Yeah. And we've got a couple of arcade machines. What do you do? Buy a JoJo Cola. Nope. Skull-shaped keyhole. Okay. Journey of the Prairie King. Ooh, okay. I suck at these. Like, really badly. Maybe if I try and stay roughly in the middle. Well, that didn't work, did it? Ding, 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 ding. What do you do? Hi. Okay. I have a feeling I'm totally going to end up having to dedicate like a whole episode to playing arcade games. I'm going to say that was actually something I enjoyed in, um, what the heck are you? Oh, that was something I enjoyed in StarCraft 2 was playing the arcade machine game. Okay, this is kind of awesome. What are you? Thorns! This is awesome. This is awesome! <laughs> okay, what now? Okay, now we go down this way. Oh! Ooh. Okay, and it's back to starting all over again. Oh, hello, different person. Okay, last life. And then we are getting out of here. Probably not too safe to be walking that close to a door. Or to one of the entrances. <laughs> Game over. Interesting. What, 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 what were the little rings? I don't know. Yeah, that, that was kind of fun, not going to lie. Yeah, a few other people we need to meet, but I think it might be a bit too late for us to do so. Yeah. Oh, crap, we should probably get home before midnight. Otherwise, we're going to be waking up tomorrow with hardly any energy. I do think that time should move a little bit slower. But that's just me. There's a lot of for and against sort of arguments. And I get them in both directions. Oh, hello, little pussycat. Desk kitties decided to come and visit. Okay, so we are home. We'll pause it here for a sec. Now, 
it did say that it's going to be raining all a day tomorrow, which is good. It means we won't have to worry about watering our crops. It'll give us a bit more time to go and do some stuff. Now, at this stage, I am thinking it's going to be day to an episode. Will it be an episode to a day is another matter entirely. But, yeah, we'll sort of see how it goes. But let's try and save it. Well, we'll go to sleep for the night, which does save the game, and also gives us our, I guess, achievements for the day. So we made 30 gold off those two bat wings. And that's where we're going to finish it off. So for the right now, this is Jester Ark, and this is Stardew Valley. Please feel free to hit the buttons of appreciation and one on down the bottom. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.